dear students now i will solve the gate 22 triple e network questions the transfer function of a real system h of s is <coughs> given as h of s equal to a s plus b by s square plus c s plus d where a b c d are positive constants the system cannot operate as system cannot operate as low pass high pass band pass and integrator <coughs> so which one is correct we have to answer so we can answer with the help of transfer function so if you draw the transfer function frequency versus h of s at zero frequency what is h of s at omega equal to zero h of s value is b by d b by d <coughs> so if b greater than d b greater than d it works like a low pass filter it works like a low pass filter low pass filter if d greater than b d greater than b d greater than b it will start with low value go to i again come to zero <clears throat> so it can be a band pass filter b greater than b it is a band pass filter low pass filter integrator same So it can be a low pass filter it can be integrator it can be a band pass filter what it cannot be is high pass filter so abcd are the positive constants the system cannot operate as band pass filter so this is answered the circuit shown below a three phase star connected unbalanced load is connected to a three phase star connected unbalanced load load is unbalanced connected to a balanced three phase supply of 100 into root 3 with the phase sequence abc the star connected load at za 10 ohms zb 20 of 60 the value of zc in ohm for which the voltage difference across the nodes n and n prime is zero so this source is a balanced one load is unbalanced for what value of zc voltage at n and n prime zero <coughs> what is the voltage given three phase supply of 100 root 3 <coughs> so 100 root 3 is always a line voltage line voltage is any any by default you have to take it as a line voltage 100 of 100 into root 3 so what is the phase voltage v phase is always vl by root 3 so which is equal to 100 volts so if you talk uh, abc sequence if it is in a abc sequence this one is a delta and this is a internal one is a star this is a b c so what is v a will be VA or EA, what is given in the question is EA. 
it is of 100 of 90 degrees. So, what is this angle will be 90 degrees counterclockwise. Then EB will be 100 of minus 30 degrees. And similarly, EC will be 100 of minus 150. So, 120, 30, 150 clockwise minus 150. Now, we have to find this current IA. What is the value of IA? It is nothing but EA by ZA. That is 100 of 90 by what is ZA given? 10. So, 10 of 90 is nothing but 10 J. Then find out IB is EB by ZB. What is EB? 100 of minus 30 by what is ZB given? 20 of 60. This is 5, 5 angle of minus 90, which is my minus 5j. Then find out IC is EC by ZC. Okay, <clears throat> but uh, ZC we have to find. And what is the condition given? Voltage at n, n prime 0. 0 is possible only when IA plus IB plus IC equal to 0. So, what is IC value? Minus of IA plus IB. So what is IA? 10J. What is IB? Minus 5J. So, if you simplify, if you simplify here minus 10 plus, so minus 5j will come. This is IC, <coughs> but what we want to find is ZC. What is EC? 100 of minus 150 by, by IC. IC is minus 5j. Minus 5j is nothing but 5 of minus 90. So, simplify you will get 20 of minus 60. So, 20 of minus 60 is the answer. So, this is given in the question voltage across n and n prime 0 that means certain total current should be 0 and we find out ia ib and ic also we got it now if this ic is known ec is known zc we find out That's all. an inductor having q factor of 60 connected in series with a capacitor having q factor of 240 the overall Q factor of the circuit. When two are connected in series, there is a formula effective Q is nothing but QL into QC by QL plus QC. We can also derive this, but the derivation anyway, we don't do it. You need to remember this formula. So, 60 into 240 by 60 plus 240 is 300. Simplify 0, 0, 0, cancel 3, 1, ja. So, 48. 48 in the answer. The network shown below as a resonant frequency of 
150 kilo H. Then a frequency of 150 kilo H. And bandwidth of 600 H. And Q factor of the network. As it is series or parallel, any circuit, the Q factor is nothing but F naught by bandwidth. So, what is F naught? 150k bandwidth is 600. So, this you have to simplify. You will get to 250. So, 250 is the answer. Next, in the circuit shown below, the switch S is closed at T equal to 0. The magnitude of steady state voltage in volts across this 6 ohm resistor is. It is a transient problem, he is asking at steady state. So, what we should know? At steady state means t equal to infinite, t equal to infinite, capacitor behave like a open, behave like open. So, this you make it open 6 ohm, 3 ohm parallel is asking voltage across 6 ohm. So, this is open. Ten ohm six three. So this is two ohm voltage of ten. So what is asking is voltage across six. So this you have to simplify further. Six three parallel means two ohms. Here it is open, no drop here. This 2 ohm applied is 10. Here also 2. So, what is voltage across oh, with polarity not mentioned? So, it is our choice. This side positive, this side negative, then 2 to series 5 ohms. Voltage across this 2 is 5 is nothing but voltage across this equivalent is nothing but voltage across 6. So, what is the answer is 5 volts. Even if you give minus 5 also correct. Plus or minus 5 both are correct. In this circuit shown below magnitude of voltage V1 in volt across the 8 kilo ohm. This V1 is asking, this one problem, V1 is asking, voltage across 8K. This is a current source, current dependent current source, here voltage dependent voltage source. So, this I is given here, now this we have to solve. <coughs> now, what is the current here I? I is flowing through 8K. So, what is V1 straight away? 8k into i is one equation. Then we can write another mesh equation in this loop. 75 is equal to 2k i plus 0.5 v1. This is second equation, but V1 is 8Ki, so 2Ki plus 0.5 into V1, 8Ki, so 0.5 means 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6Ki, what is I from this? 75 by 6k. 
but what we want to be one is eight k into i so seventy five by six k. K K anyway cancel two three two four three one ja three two three five. So twenty five into four hundred watts. So like this. Uh, we can answer these questions are asked in gate 22 only for triple e students so this is based on uh, this problem came under nodal or mesh is the nodal or mesh and this problem transient this problem resonance this problem quality factor again resonance this is three phase circuits this is filters So accordingly, each topic one question came, but still all topics not covered. And triple E questions are given such that more topics are covered comparing with the PC. Now I am closing.